Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Let's Play video. Oh, I almost forgot how to do that intro. I Right now, I am at Chuncheon Station. I'm not good at Korean. I don't know Korean, so I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I can already see a train over here. Look at that. So, I know I haven't done a video on the Let's Play series in a while, and recently I've been working a lot on the 4.0 update and releasing videos about that. So if you haven't seen those videos, please go check it out. Uh, right now I'm on this station because I want to check out what's new on here. And looks like I want to go to Platform 6. I'm looking at the online system app right now. And I want to catch this train because if I don't, then I have to wait a long time to get on the next one. So, it's good to be back on the Let's Play! Wow, look at this train. This is really nice. I think this is an OBJ model as well, because we have the translucent windows. Sudari and some others worked on this line, so good job to them. And that was a kind of a rushed intro because I was trying to get on this train. So welcome again, welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. And I'm at Chuncheon Station, as I mentioned. I wanted to check out the Gyeongchun Express and the Gyeongchun Line. So that train we saw earlier was probably the Gyeongchun Line. I mean the Express, and this is the Gyeongchun Line itself. So it has a really nice OBJ train, probably added. With the Nemo Transit expansion mod. Yeah, instead of doing a quest, I figured I'll do another episode on the Let's Play series because I haven't done that in a while. If you haven't seen the new series about the 4.0 update, please go check it out. It's on my channel as well. So, recently I've been working on some code for some signaling changes. As I probably have mentioned in the other video for the 4.0 updates, I forgot. Wow, this train's really detailed. Look at the seat cush cushions with their own textures. I think this is a multi-purpose area. And here as well. Wow, these are red seats. Probably priority seats from the looks of it, I'm guessing. And then the stations are a little bit like MTR style, but not really. Maybe it's just the the system map and the platform screen doors look like MTR. Wow, look at the doors. Look how detailed this texture is. All right, so yeah, I forgot what I said earlier, but I'm writing this line because I wanted to check out what's new on the server and so show you some new trains and new lines on the server. So Sudari mentioned on Discord that this has just been built recently, up to a certain point. So while I'm on the train, let me show you what's on the map. Okay, so we started at Chuncheon Station. We are on the light green line. Oh wait, no. I keep getting that confused. We're on the dark green, the Gyeongchun line, which goes through all stops instead of the express, which skips some station. And we're gonna come down to here, but since this is work in progress, I'm gonna get off here at Masyok Station. So I think we have quite a ways to go. We can just enjoy the ride and just talk. Okay, so this is one of the stations. Wow, this is more like a rural theme, but there are platform screen doors. Interesting. Yeah, that other track didn't have any platform doors. And it looks like the local and express share the same track, which is pretty nice because, well, there's less stuff to build. And with good signaling, you can have it run pretty smoothly. It looks like we're in a tunnel now. Earlier, before I started recording this video, I was trying to make flan. 
If, if you know what flan is, tell me in the comments if you like flan or not. It's a Spanish dessert, uh, quite popular in Seattle as well. And I really like the sweet custardy kind of desserts, so I decided to try to make it myself because it's just not sustainable if you eat out all the time and it gets expensive. And yeah, so I decided to try to make flan. And one of the first steps of making flan is that you have to melt sugar. Did you know that sugar you can just melt on a frying pan like that? Look, there's an express train over on that side. Looks like that's added by Nemo's Transit Expansion as well with the OBJ models. I'm not entirely sure. Alright, this is one of the interchanges with the express. We have, what is this block? Train Departure Bell. Can I press it? I don't know if that does anything. Okay, and then we have the Departure Timer and the Butterfly Light. The butterfly light comes on when the doors are about to close, so when there's only a few seconds left, it prompts the driver to close the doors. So we should be seeing that pretty soon here. Oh, okay, I guess not. Okay, so I also, as I was making the flan, I had to use sugar so the top of the flan is brown which is a layer of sugar caramelized sugar so there are two ways to do that one way is to just melt sugar directly on the pan and the second way is to add water and melt the sugar that way so the way the recipe told me to do was to put it directly on the pan and not add water so i didn't know you could do that so i did that and it's very easy to burn sugar because you're supposed to turn it on high first to melt the sugar initially and then when the first bit starts to melt then you turn it immediately to low so i tried it for like five times five or six times until i finally got a satisfactory result and yeah maybe i'll tell you in the comments how it went because it's in the oven right now as i'm recording and i hope it tastes good as well if you're interested, I can send you the recipe. It's a low sugar flan recipe, so I hope it tastes good. Because usually stuff is too sweet for me anyway. I guess <laughs> I have a Chinese palate where if some dessert is too sweet, I'm not going to enjoy it. Okay, so it looks like there's some more people joining the game. Oh, there's another train coming the other way. How many people are on? Five people, including myself. So three visitors, OTS, and myself. This whole line has been really beautiful so far. I've noticed that the Terralith terrain kind of gets old as you move around the world. If you look at the online square map as well, you notice that a lot of the biomes repeat. And it seems like you've seen the same features over and over again. But still, the way this line is designed, it's just pleasant to look at anyway. Alright. I wonder how this works, because there's only one track down the middle. And if there's an express train behind us, then we're going to hold it, hold up everything. Yeah, don't know how this will work. I think the frequencies are low enough that 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 won't happen. I think that might happen on the East Rail Line as well when they used to have the KTT service which is a through train from Hong Kong's Hong Ham Station to mainland China's I don't know Shenzhen at, at Lo Wu there's a station I don't know I've actually never been on that train before because I would just take the East Rail Line directly to the border to get into the mainland but now that the KTT service is gone, I wouldn't be able to try it anyway. It's like the only double-decker service you'll get in Hong Kong. Double-decker train, I mean. And it's a cross-boundary service, which mean you, means you can only get on at Hong Ham, and it'll take you straight to the mainland. Wow, the sun is about to set, and we're crossing this Prismarine Bridge. What else is new? other than me coding the 4.0 update. 
Oh, actually, it looks like these doors are using the exterior render layer. So it's not rendering at full brightness like the middle of the train here. Which is okay. I mean, it's not too big of a deal. And I see there's the Korean Rail logo here. I just noticed that. And these little rectangles on the train doors is also that logo. Wow, very nice, very detailed. The things you can do in Minecraft, sometimes it still impresses me. Wow. Oh, it looks like there's a little step for the train. So the train floor isn't exactly aligned with the platform. That's funny. Kind of reminds me of the London Underground. For some reason, the platforms are always lower than the train, so there's a step. If anyone can tell me why in the comments, that would be great. Because I'm not that big of a train fan, so I don't know that much. But please enlighten me in the comments. I only ride trains. And I enjoy riding trains. Wow, look at that tunnel. A lot of work has gone into this, I can tell. But yeah, I've only grown up riding trains. I've never researched too much into it. But I still enjoy it. That's why I made this mod. What else is new? My wife has recently been going to acupuncture because she has chronic back pain since junior year of high school and that's the first time she's tried it so today was the second session of acupuncture we've been going weekly so far next week we have another appointment if you haven't been to acupuncture well personally I haven't been either but apparently you barely feel the needles going in. Like, it's, like my wife was pretty worried about it at first going in. Like, is it gonna hurt? But no, it's much less painful than like an injection. Actually, you barely fe even feel it at all. That's why she told me. So what they do is they put the needles in your back and then you can rest there for like 40 minutes. Interchange station for the she Jiayong usually falls Shan asleep Express. because there's also a heat lamp in there which makes her really sleepy. <laughs> the doctor just told her that you can just rest if you feel tired. Don't try to fight it. And that's what she did. Looks like we're pulling into another station with a split with the local and express. Hmm, I wonder what station this is. I've been talking the whole time that I don't I'm not aware of what station we're at. It looks like we have a little bit more to go on the system map though. Let's see. It's also interesting that all these stations have Chinese, Korean, and English. Sometimes I half expect Sudori to only make Korean names and English names, but helps me read it as well. I can't tell if the Chinese names are directly translated or if there are the actual words corresponding to the Korean words because the English because I, I can't read Korean I can only read the English and the Chinese so it's cool that the English and the Chinese also sound similar so I don't know if that's intentional or if those Chinese characters directly correspond to Korean. Because I know that Next old Korean station, also Beijing. uses right. Chinese words. I don't know if they call it kanji, because kanji is Japanese. <laughs> when the Japanese language uses Chinese characters, that's kanji. It's funny because my wife can read hiragana and katakana but she doesn't know too much kanji. So I help her with the kanji because I read Chinese and she helps me with the katakana and hiragana. So together we can combine our powers and read Japanese text. So I think that's pretty funny. So if we do ever go to Japan together, that is one of our potential tourist destinations in the future, but we haven't done that yet. So if we go to Japan, we can probably survive by reading the signs together, which is pretty cool. Okay, 
How many more stations? Two more at Mossack Station. Maceok Station. Okay. There's some texture fighting here on the trains. I don't know why that happens, but when I'm actually in this car, it doesn't happen. So maybe it has to do with some of the translucent rendering. Next station, Daphne. Wow, the car connector is here as well. How's that rendered? I don't know. Maybe it's just rendered with the car, so if the car turns too sharply, it's gonna look like the connection's broken. Whoa, we're in a dark tunnel and the doors are all black. <laughs> a really beautiful route. And it's fast too, so I'm enjoying it. We're going 160. I know it's not 300, but by that point, I'm not going to be able to load chunks fast enough. So the ride's not going to be that enjoyable as well. And each station is unique. That's also the cool part. Like this station. Oh, I don't want to get off the train. This station has station or like wall blocks down near the edge of the platform. And it's interesting that most of these stations, the ceiling doesn't go over the train track. So when you're getting on the train, there's a little one meter block where rain can fall on you. All right, I think this is, yep, this is Balsack Station. So time to get off and maybe we can get an express back. I don't know. Wow, look at these trees, purple and pink. Wow, the terrain here is nice. I know I said it's repetitive. I've seen this at like Motapu or like Jonathan's Resort or something. But still, when you're actually on the train riding through, it's really nice. Wow, this bridge. I am just like enjoying this right now. Compared to my Spawn Grand Circular, <laughs> it's much nice. Much nicer. Oh, there's an express train. Do you think I can catch it? There's also a station building here. Okay, the train left, I think. So... Wait. Okay, there's just a little bit of server lag. Okay, so that's a local train. Look, the signs even have the little train icon from the Korean subway. At least that's what I, I'm assuming that is. I've never been to Korea. Actually, I've been through Seoul to change flights, but that doesn't really count, does it? Oh, this is the Hose Bridge. Okay, six, uh, 18 minutes for the express. Wow. So here's a train. I don't really want to take the local back though because I want to see the new train type. But then this one comes in 18 minutes. Okay, we just missed the express and now we have to wait 18 minutes. Well, oh, there's a waiting room here. Since I really appreciate everybody supporting the mod, I will wait the, those 17 minutes just for the content. Okay, so I'm gonna check on my flan and I'll be back when the train comes. Wow, as I was sitting here waiting for the train, <laughs> two visitors and Sudari suddenly appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> well, welcome as well and cool that you're joining us. Okay, there's still 13 more minutes, so bye bye. Just an update. Oh, there's a local train. I checked on my flan when the timer went off and I it was a bit too watery. So I left it in there for longer. Cause I think it's supposed to be like an hour, but I only put it in for 35 minutes. That's what the other recipe said, so I don't know. I'm just checking out the station while I'm waiting. What does this say? WIP, okay. 
Oh, if you heard that, that was the oven preheating back to 350. So I was using 325 earlier, but I saw another recipe that says 350 for one hour, but I was doing 325 for 35 minutes. So maybe that's the issue. Wow, each station, the outside is very nice as well. Look at that. Solar panels. And this central round building. Very nice. I'm glad we made you a builder. And I don't say that often, but really nice. And the patterns too. It's not the, just the same wall throughout. So if you're watching this video and you want to know what kind of builds we're looking for on the Let's Play, this is the kind of builds we're looking for. And the terrain isn't just world edited out. I think they took effort to smooth out the grass and stuff too. Well, <laughs> maybe not down here, but for the most part, really nice job. Okay, let's get back into the station. I don't want to miss that express train. So there's only a couple more minutes till the train comes. Don't know why these doors are closed like that. Are they intentional? I don't know. Uh, this side, right? Yeah, there's two more minutes. I don't want to miss it. So we went up that way last time. And we'll go this way. I think that was the waiting room we we're sitting at. Let's check out the rest of the platform. I hope my flan turns out well. I don't know if I added enough. Well, I followed the recipe. It should be okay. I added three, four eggs. And then evaporated milk and sugar. And I forgot vanilla extract, but <laughs> the texture should be at least the same. Maybe the taste won't be as rich, but the, yeah, the texture should be the same. Oh, these are sittable. How come? Is it a function added by the other mod? I don't know. Are there entities down below? No? Okay, interesting. All right. Come on, two minutes. How long does two minutes last? Also, while we're here, let me talk about some ideas that I have since the Let's Play is kind of cooling down a little bit in terms of builds. I'll still continue to make videos like this, checking out people's new lines, so don't worry about that. But yeah, since I've been doing a lot of coding, I haven't had much time to spend on the Let's Play, so today's kind of nice that I have not finished what I wanted to do by this week, so there's no video showing a new 4.0 leak. But I've been thinking. I used to really enjoy playing modded Minecraft, and Tekkit was the mod pack that got me excited into playing modded Minecraft. So I was thinking if I made a survival series using a mod pack like that, I'm gonna handpick some tech mods and some survival mods, stuff like that and combined it with the Minecraft Transit Railway mod and started to build like a whole railway system and a factory in Minecraft. Would you all be interested to watch that? Let me know in the comments below. So again, I'm gonna start a survival world, maybe single player unless other people want to join. And I'm going to be adding a lot of tech mods, like a whole bunch of tech mods as well as this mod and I'm going to try to build trains and stations and stuff in survival. So let me know if that's interesting to you and I will start that up soon if I get enough interest. Or maybe I'll just do a test video and see how many people enjoy it. Oh, it's this platform. I was looking at the wrong platform. All right, wow. This is a definitely a high speed train. Let's look at the outside. Reminds me of a class 802, but the front is a bit more square rather than pointy. And I didn't see how the doors opened, but the 
the door part has like a divider where the doors actually are. There's a divider and there are a bunch of seats. Next this is the second door. I guess this is maybe a all-purpose section. Wow, there's even a map of the high-speed network in Korea. That's what I'm guessing this is. Yeah, this is this is the whole of South Korea. It looks like Seoul is somewhere up there. Okay. Oh, we have some longitudinal seats here, and then we have some forward-facing seats. And these ones are also forward facing. Interesting. Wow. Oh, this is a bi level train car. But currently, the mod doesn't support that yet. Wow, you can see it from the outside. Look at that. Wow, this is really cool. Oh, so there's two bi level cars. Oh, I'm a little bit confused. Okay, so this is the first bi-level car. This is the next one. I'm going to add support to be able to have bi-level cars and you can go into each one. But that's that's going to take a bit of coding. And I don't know how long that's going to take. Alright, so the rest of these are just normal cars. And these are backwards facing. Wow. Okay, so we're pulling into a station now. And we're taking the middle tracks. So the local trains take the side tracks. Oh wait, no. Just kidding. We didn't stop at the station. Alright. This is also operated by Korail, Korean Railway Company. I searched it up on Wikipedia a little earlier, but I don't remember exactly what it what the full name is, but CoRail is the popular name of it. Uh, with these high speed trains and with the big seats, it's kind of hard to see outside. That's why I'm switching into F5 mode quite often. But I'm really impressed, especially with the bi level cars. And even these cars are really nice too. Oh, I just noticed that we're missing pantographs. Where did they go? Oh, they're back. <laughs> they're right here. I wonder if Sudari didn't install them or something. Okay, let's see how the doors open. Do they just slide open? Are they plug doors? They cut a little bit into the side of the platform. The trains are a bit too wide, I think. <laughs> oh yeah, they are plug doors. Nice. Yeah, it's kind of cutting into the side of the platform a little bit. But that's okay. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see it. <laughs> okay. Is there a bathroom here? Some toilets. Is this toilets? Can't tell. Oh yeah, there's a little light here to tell you if the toilets occupied or not. Wow, this is a vending machine? A vending machine on a train. I've never seen that before. <laughs> it looks like this texture is flipped 90 degrees. <laughs> okay. It's kind of cool seeing ourselves fly by some stations as well. Yeah, to be honest, sometimes I don't really like it when visitors follow me around because I can't really get a nice shot of the trains because they keep like getting in my face but I understand that you want to be on camera which is nice that you're excited about the mod and the server so welcome on board anyway mighty rainbow 100 and who's this person I can't see the name tag Forge 640 see wherever I walk on the train you guys are following me like I'm a magnet or something. Okay, how many more stations? We have three more stations and the local side has six more stations. So we're basically doing like every other, I think. Oh, we can watch TV as well. Watch the Windows XP background, but it's flipped. 
It's flipped horizontally. And then what's this? Is this a news channel? Is this Donald Trump? And then this is the... This is the person doing sign language. Okay. I really enjoy this ride right now, even though the windows are kind of hard to see out of. It's still a really nice ride, especially the bi-level cars. I'm still really impressed by it. The only bi-level trains that we have is the Sounder in Seattle. So that's like a regional express that only operates... Oh, local train. So the Sounder only operates in, in a certain direction for peak hours. So morning peak hours, the trains go into Seattle. And evening peak hours, the trains go out of Seattle. I know the West Coast Express in Vancouver also does the same thing. So in the morning peak hours, the trains go into Vancouver, and then in the evening's peak hours, it goes out of Vancouver. And they also use the same trains too, I think. The same train type. Of course, a different livery. I think the theme of the West Coast Express... Oh, Kira's online. The theme of the West Coast Express is purple, while the Sounder is blue. So the Sounder has the North and South Line. The North Line goes up to Everett, and the South Line goes down to Lakewood. It'll be nice if they extended it to Vancouver and Olympia, or Portland, but that's what Amtrak is for, I guess. The useless Amtrak. Overpriced and useless and slow. Okay. I can't get in a rabbit hole of trashing on American trains because I do that every time and I always talk about myself doing it every time. Anyway, the Sounder is fun when you get a chance to ride on it. I get an employer pass which is nice, employer sponsored Orca card. Orca card is like Octopus card but for Seattle, the greater Seattle area. And it's nice because my employer pays for all my trips so I can go on train rides whenever I want. Well, not whenever, because I also have work still. But it's nice. Whenever I want to go somewhere on the weekends, I can just jump on the bus or the train, and it's all free. I know that's not a perk that a lot of people have, so I'm very fortunate with that. I know Hong Kong doesn't do that. Hong Kong doesn't have some sort of employer-sponsored pass because people are gonna abuse it so much, I can see that coming. <laughs> yeah, which is unfortunate. But the fare structure is also different, so it's cheaper to go around by public transport anyway in Hong Kong. Okay, we got two more stations, and then maybe we can try to catch the train back up to Daniels Danielston and back to Spawn. So that's probably the end goal we're gonna do here. End goal of our ride here. These seats are also very detailed. I wonder if you made this train, whoever made this train, if they did it on Blender or not. Because that's the software I see people using. Although, when I started doing 3D modeling, like not counting Blockbench, I would just use this software called Fusion 360. It's by Autodesk. Autodesk is the maker of AutoCAD and a lot of popular software. Fusion 360 is one of them, so I find that very easy to use compared to Blender. But maybe I should take the time to learn Blender as well, because when I downloaded it the first time, I got overwhelmed by everything, so I didn't try to learn it. <laughs> also, 3D modeling isn't, like, isn't my top interest, let's just say. My top interest is probably working on this mod, and yeah, coding. Even making videos is not to the top of my list. It's fun, like, it's not like terrible. It's enjoyable, but it's not my top thing on my list. Are we slowing down? No, we skipped this station as well. This countryside station. Let's see, where are we on the map? We're going north to Danielston, which is right here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> of course that's not a map of the server. Silly me. I like these diagonal bridges. These are perfectly 45 degrees. And now we're going straight again. 
Alright. Is the next station just going to be the last stop? Because we seem like we skipped more than one station as we were going up. But maybe that's just the way it is. I don't know. I can't tell. Hmm. Wow, these noise barriers as well on the sides. As I said, every station is uniquely special and really beautifully designed. I'm really impressed. Look at the top even. All these minor details. Oh wait, this is the last stop. This is where we started. Oh wait, no, one more, one more. Oops. This station is Nam Chun Chun. Look at the skylight. And can't really see it from here. But like there was like stone bricks lining the top near the roof. And I thought that was a really nice nice choice of blocks for your block palette. It almost looks like vents at the top. Gives that effect. Really, really well done. And there's another local train. Alright, so let's not miss this stop because this is the last one. And then we need to transfer to the other line. Let me check the map. Alright, so at Chuncheon, we need to transfer to the Sumeru Metro, which we want this direction coming in 5 minutes or 3 320. And then up to here to Danielston or here to Danielston. Oh, we're here. Okay, let's not miss the station. This is also terminating for the high speed. Uh, local terminates here too. Oh, wait, there's ferry connections here. Let's go check that out real quick. I don't know why my game is lagging the way it is. But I want to check out the ferries before we jump on the other train to Danielston. So this is connected... Oh, Chunchon Station. Isn't this what this is? Okay. The way I meant those signs to be used is if you have a linking interchange, then you can use those signs to point to the other station, but you're already at that station. I guess it wouldn't be paired with the arrow because I thought the arrow was pointing to ferries, which was Chongchun Station. Chunchun Station. Chunchun. Chunchun Dam. Yeah. Chunchun is here. Oh, underground. Where does the boat go? Wow, duck boat. Let's just jump on it. The next station is Rome. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, so the next station is Romary Time Harbor. Chicken City, Barsum, and Barsum Harbor. So theoretically, we could ride to the end of the line and then transfer as well. So why don't we do that? Just because it's kind of fun. Are we going backwards? Okay, so the boat reverses out first and goes forwards. Nice, I like that. And this duck boat, this model is just sitting here at spawn, but I've never actually ridden it as like a a boat on the line, so this is pretty cool. Maybe I can just get off at the next station and transfer. Don't have to ride it all the way. Oh, and we're stuck. Is there something in front? Alright. This is pretty funny. I remember Seattle used to have duck boats like that. They're called the duck tours. So the vehicles are shaped like ducks and they have wheels on them, which looks kind of funny, but they also turn into a boat. So when you go to the station for the tours, you get on the duck first and the duck is actually a bus, like a tour bus. And then it drives into the water, literally into the lake, Lake Union, I think. I've been on those tours once, so the bus drives to the lake, it literally drives in the water, and then you go into the water. Oh, okay. Maybe you need some barrier blocks here. Yeah, we'll take the southwest line. 
So, I was talking about the duck tours. It's nice how they use the MTR station decoration signs. Those are really cool. Anyway, so the bus turns into a boat. It just drives straight into the water, almost like Magic School Bus, if you know the series. I kind of grew up with a bit of Magic School Bus. That was, <laughs> that was fun. Oh, just in time for the train. If I was on the boat and continue going, I would miss this train. Is this also a Korean train? Hmm, I can't tell. It looks Korean from the style of it. It just says Sumeru Metro, so this is customized. But I can't tell. But I really like this train as well. Look how clean this is. You've got the signs about using the emergency button. You've got the seats with the different colors. Maybe priority seats at the end. Wait. This is the wrong train! I was supposed to get on the other one! No! I wasn't paying attention. Now I missed the train. And it's gonna be three minutes. Oh. I saw there was a train coming. But I went on the terminating trains platform. Okay, so... Why does the... Why are there even entry gates here if it's terminating? I guess you're supposed to cross over here. Oh. <laughs> that was... Okay. But this station is really nice. I like the waiting hall. Okay, so let's see. We are at Romari Time Harbor. The next station is Bar Som. Chun Chun, where we were. And then... Ashwal Benin. That's where we can get the violet line back to Danielston. Alright, since there's two minutes, I will be right back and continue on. Oh look, there's another terminating train heading that way. It's cool, the panograph just matches perfectly with the top. Oh, there's a visitor. The visitor also doesn't realize that these trains are terminating. Oh, the train's coming soon. Oh, the visitor just jumped out. Alright, wonder what they're gonna do. They're probably gonna tail me into the train. I can already see that. Well, on the bright side, the moon is setting, which means it's going to be daytime soon. That's not how it works in real life, because depending on the moon phase, the moon would be at a different spot in the sky. Like the moon setting doesn't necessarily mean it's going to change to daytime, but in Minecraft it does. So let me hop on the train, admire this train again, because it's really nice. Even the handrails, look how detailed they are, and it doesn't lag at all, thanks to Nemo's Transit Expansion, NTE. Are these auto self-driving? They look like self-driving trains, because there is no driver's cab. This is just like a panel where you can open for overriding the controls. These are also like dynamic route maps, it looks like. Either dynamic route maps or just showing what the next stop is. Kind of like the London Underground. But I don't think those kind of custom displays have been implemented on Nemo's Transit Expansion yet. But I'm excited for when they do. I know Nemo's working on some JavaScript thing that you can easily add. Wow, this station is really nice. Just the style of the walls and ceilings. I don't have that building skill, so I'm learning as we go. Okay, anyway. Yeah, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. 
These trains are self-driving? Yes. <laughs> okay. Nemo's transit expansion, not lagging. Yep. And the displays not being implemented yet. You can really tell that the frame rate is much better with Nemo's code. Oh look, there's some more noise barriers. That's the line where we came from. And this big, big arch. It's really cool when the trains go through that arch. Alright. So we're approaching back at that station. This biome is pretty crazy. And, oh, there's a express train going the other way, I think. Wow. I'm just impressed by the station styles. The duck boats are over there. Yeah, too bad the duck duck tours in Seattle, they closed down a few years ago. I don't know why, maybe they weren't making enough money so that they had to close down. But it's sad to see them go. But at least I got to go on the tours once before they closed down. It was actually the first time one of my wife's, well back then we weren't even dating, but one of my wife's church aunties met me. So that was the first like family friend that has met me and she approved of me so that's a good thing. <laughs> so that's why that tour was really memorable. Partly because they no longer exist, the tours no longer exist, and partly because that was the first person. Oh, that was the alarm for the flan, for the oven. But yeah, it's because of the duck tours no longer exist, and because that was one of the first people to approve of me and her. <laughs> anyway, this station's also really nice. Look at the arches on the walls. And the floor. Oh, I always accidentally get off the train. Okay, I will let the train go and I'll be right back. I'm gonna check the oven. Wow, that tastes really good. I took a, a small bite from the flan, but I left it in the oven for just a little longer because I think the inside is still a bit watery. But I'm excited. It's looking good. A few more minutes should do it. Is there floating sand here? What are the particles for? Or that's just the biome. Ancient sands biome. Hmm. Interesting. It's like it's snowing, but sand. <laughs> Don't know if that's good in real life, but it definitely looks nice in Minecraft. How many more stations? Let me check the map. Three more stations for the violet line. The chunks aren't really loading. That's unfortunate. Wow, another nice tunnel. Too bad we can't really see much with the chunk loading. Like that. Oh, there's another train on that side. Let's explore the train. Actually, there's not much to explore because every car is basically the same. One, two, three, four. Four car train. Nice. I don't like trains that are too long because the platforms just take forever to walk from one side to the other and it's harder to make it look nice if the platforms are too long. Wow. Every station I'm like admiring the architecture. Even this tunnel entrance, look at that. How much work was put into that? And there's a little stairway for emergencies. Okay, next station is Bainbridge. Wow, Bainbridge is the name of an island to the west of Seattle. I have some co-workers that live in Bainbridge and they have to take the ferry every day to work. I can't imagine doing that, having to take a ferry to work every day. And it's not just like a short one like Star Ferry where you're getting to the other side of the harbor. This is actually a significant distance. Next station. Almost like... The Lama Island Ferry? Actually, maybe not that far, IT. but... Wow. Look at this tunnel. The windows you just now, you could peek out into the corals. 
That was really cool. This tunnel is just so much work put into it. Wow. Really glad you're a builder. Alright. Pulling into the station. What is this station? I think there's one more till we have to get off. Oh, Circulator IT is here. So we could get on the Circulator IT and that should take us to Danielston as well. But I think I want to take the Violet Line because it's faster. We could also go to the last stop and catch the Sightseeing Express all the way to Cyan Heights. But I also don't want to do that because that also takes forever. So. Hmm, these doors don't align exactly with the outside, do they? No, they don't. Okay. Doesn't matter too much to me. Because these trains are very nice already, and I have no complaints about them. Alright, so after I get off the train, I'm gonna take the flan out of the oven, and then jump on the violet line. Sounds like a plan. Oh, that station is actually pretty close to that that one. All right. Wow. This is really nice. Even this underground station, it has its own personality. Wow. Look at that. High ceilings. And even though the sides are dark colored blocks, the way it's laid out is just really nice. Okay, now we're back at the other zone. Is this the right way? Wait a minute. Nope. Nope, the other side. Good thing I checked. Oh, there's the quest button. I've definitely been here. Oops, wrong way. And I missed the train. What? Oh, are there two trains going to that? No, wait. That train was on that platform. Wait, this train is on this platform. Okay, the next one goes to Ishtabaka. Ishtakaba. So that's the Intrastation APM and Circulator IT. Let me check the map. Okay, so. This circulator IT goes to Danielston, but I might as well just wait for a Cupid or Violet line, which is in two minutes, I think. All right, I'm gonna check the oven. If you wish to board, oh look, please follow the arrows. There's Turn another Cupid line train, but I'm not gonna get on that one. I need the Violet line. Forty-seven seconds. Itch this is a All right. station. Please yeah, I think the train the I missed was doors. actually a Cupid line train, so that's also good that I didn't get on. The Violet Line trains are, of course, purple. So, here we are on the Class 377. The next station should be Danielston directly. Yeah, next station is Danielston, where we can catch the high speed and go back to spawn. All right. We are almost here. I'm actually a little worried that my flan isn't cooked all the way. I should probably check again. Let me get off the train first though. Don't want to miss my stop. Ooh, this is a steep, steep curve. But I can't complain because my spawn grand circular literally goes up to one of the floating islands in green. <laughs> Alright. So... Which way? We have to get to the APM, do we? Oh, I don't know what was with the lifts earlier. Hmm, which way to the HSR? This way? This way, I think. I actually haven't been, like, back this way. So usually... I take the high speed to local, but not really from the local to high speed. Okay. 
Nice, we got an 8 p.m. Oh, we just stopped here. And there's some signaling here. So I think what's going on is... You see that? Double yellow here. And then there's red. Yeah, we're just waiting for that train. Pretty cool. So there's a switch over in the middle. Alright, here we are at the high speed. Wow, that's a red 802. Come on. Oh, we just missed it. Oh, sad. Oh wait, I didn't know the trains went to Yankton from here. How come no one told me that? Whoa, there's another train there. Where does that go? There are a lot of inter interesting trains going through here. <laughs> I'm just surprised that I haven't been keeping up and so many things have happened during this time. I'm gonna go take a peek here. I think this is a through route. So those trains aren't gonna stop at Danielston. They just go on the same tracks. Well, this next one is going to spawn. There's no route map here either. So that's a little bit confusing. So these are using the BR 423s. The line to spawn. Hmm. Are these trains usually used for high speed in real life? Let me know in the comments because I actually don't know. Yeah, look. That's a pretty cool 802. Like a custom texture. Maybe I'll check that out next time, but for now, I'll just go back to spawn first. I'm just glancing at the system map and it looks like at Yangtin there's a few more in use. Well, actually, there's just one more high speed in use. This is just the APM. So platform 15 is serving the Southern Cross Line, which goes through Danielston and to Yongchun. That's a new station. So maybe next time we'll check out this area. But for now, I think I'm going to head back to spawn. And of course, the chunks don't load at 300. So we'll just have to hope for the best. Wow, I want to ride one of those 802s. Maybe next time we'll get the chance to. You can see the tracks above us as well. Alright, so as we're wrapping up, remember to like and subscribe if you like these videos so that I can continue to make more great content for you all. If you haven't checked out the playlist for the 4.0 updates, please go check that out. It's really cool and you'll be excited about the update. Remember, if you want to host a server for yourself, just like this one, check out Shockbyte and use code MTRMOD for 25% off your first month. And I hope you enjoyed this episode, the different trains that we've been on. I'm personally very impressed as I've said many many times on Suderi's new line and the trains as well. Alright, entering spawn, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!